Many Christians are bored staying single. Honestly speaking, moments of singleton can feel like a lifetime of boredom. It's as though you have time on your hands and not much to do. It doesn't help that many of us, especially ladies, imagine a perfect partner coming into our lives. Because of this, we may begin to get desperate and start following our wisdom and ways instead of God's wisdom. Below are three signs that show you that you should trust, surrender, and let him direct and bring a spouse after his own heart. If any or most of the signs below are present in your life, then you should leave it all to God and let him lead you. 1. You know that you're horrible with relationships and you've had quite a past of wrong choices. If you know that you have had a lot of wrong choices, it probably means that you don't know how to choose rightly, and so it's a sign that God wants you to trust, surrender, and leave it to Him to give you a spouse after His heart. If you're worried because of your past choices, then it's a sign that God wants you to let go of your efforts and trust Him in leading you to the right person. Many people desire to be in a godly relationship, but don't know how to go about it. They don't know the right and wrongs of a godly relationship. This is a sign that it's best to lead it all to God. As humans, it's easy to make many mistakes when choosing. We may think we're making the right choices only to see that it is very wrong. Many times, we don't see the big flaws in a person's life until we start dating them, and by then, it's usually too late for things to be corrected. Instead of talking into such huge mistakes, it's much better to leave it all to God, put it in God's hands, surrender, and trust Him, and He will direct you to the person He has in mind for you. As Christians, we ought not to lean on our understanding. God Himself doesn't want it. To be dependent and choose yourself is to throw away God's counsel. Since you know that you most likely will choose wrongly based on your, it's a sin that it's time to let God choose for you. This is the time to lead it all to God. Go ahead and seek God's wisdom and knowledge to make you get the right partner. God gives wisdom and He will help you to discern right when it comes to getting the right spouse for your life. When God guides your path, He will put peace in you so that you know it's Him who's speaking when He speaks to you. God will send you His word to lead you right if you just surrender and hand over to Him and trust Him to lead you right. God will direct you through men. He will send men to you and they will send words to you and teach you the right ways to go. Instead of worrying and getting bothered about how to go about it yourself, just leave it to God and let Him take control. If you know that you usually make mistakes, then just take it as a sign to give God control over your life and let Him lead you to the right person. If you're feeling depressed and condemned because of what has happened in the past, you must take it as a sign that you should trust and surrender to lead you to a spouse after His heart. Don't feel down, don't believe the lie that you'll never be in a good home. Rather, just take those mistakes as a sign that you need to leave it to God. 2. God wants you to surrender if you're currently filled with so much worry and anxiety about your life partner. God wants you to put your all in and give it to Him if when you hear about marriage you get afraid and anxious. God wants you to surrender and trust Him to direct you to your spouse. If you're worried and anxious, then it's a sign that God needs you to put your trust in Him and let Him do the job. Worry does nothing for you. Your worry will not bring a partner for you. When you don't know who to choose, it's a sign that you should leave it to God for Him to lead you right. God is very interested in your family. You must understand that God is very interested in helping you out in all areas of your life. This means that God is making provisions for you regarding your spouse, and He just needs you to surrender your worry and anxiety to Him, and let Him lead your steps divinely. If you're fearful and full of worry, you most likely would make a mistake. Instead of this, let God take full control. My advice for you is that you stop worrying and continue to wait on God, and keep asking Him in prayers because you need His wisdom. This worry is a sign that you need to truly trust God for a spouse. It's a sign that God wants you to trust, surrender, and let Him lead you to the spouse that His heart desires. Trust that your God is in control. He already knows that spending the rest of your life with someone is a big deal, and so He doesn't want you to end up marrying the wrong partner. So truthfully, trusting in God is the best way to go about it. Instead of worrying, let God be involved in directing you to your spouse. He would direct you to your spouse, and then he'll help you both to cultivate your love and romance and make sure it blossoms into something beautiful.
This worry is a sign that God wants you to trust, surrender, and let him direct and bring a spouse after his heart. When you let him be the focal point, then you would see the brilliance of his patterns and he will reveal the whole story to you. Remember that God's ways are more beautiful and infinitely fulfilling than any man's ways of seeking intimacy. Instead of worrying, just trust in him and let him take control. He's doing a good job already, trust him to continue it. Rather than worrying and relying on your wisdom and trying to get your person all by yourself, trust in God and let him do all that he plans to do. Know that God is always on time and he will bring everything you need in his own perfect and good timing. He will surely direct you to your spouse. Worrying about our lives comes from the idea that we could do all things right by ourselves. In reality, we actually cannot. God already knows that who you would marry is important, so he is already making plans for it to happen. 3. God wants you to trust him if you just don't know what to do. So many people are just confused and without an idea of what to do to get married or get a spouse. If you are in this category, then God wants you to trust and surrender to him so that he can do it all for you. If you're at a total blank head in making plans about how to get your spouse, then God is calling you to trust him and let him lead you right. You would have to trust God, and one thing that shows your trust is you also stepping out in faith and letting God take his action. When you don't know what to do and there's so much information in your head, the best thing to do is to leave it to God and let him do his best. If you're at a complete loss of what to do, then you should put your trust and surrender to God. It's the best thing to do because even at times when we make the best of plans, we still many times fail. Now imagine when you're confused and have no plans at all. Remember that God has asked us not to lean on our understanding, but rather His. So if you put your whole trust in God, He will help you and help you do it rightly. Proverbs 3 to 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your understanding. Stop worrying, stop using logic, and stop getting anxious. God will lead you right because he has only the best thoughts for you. Don't let your worry sink you, give it all to God, and as you trust and surrender to him, he will lead you to the right spouse. If any of the above three signs are present in your life, then it's God who wants you to trust, surrender, and let him direct and bring a spouse after his own heart to you. Don't give up and don't go after your wisdom. Let him lead you right.